We're at North Park Mall and we're about to go evangelize and um, pray for people. So, yeah, we're waiting on our friend Jessica right now. Um, I'm with my friend Andre and we're about to pray right now. So, thank you, Jesus. Thank you um, for sending us out. Thank you for um, giving us uh, the grace to do this and just uh, your kind nature and provision in our lives. Lord, we just ask that you um, strengthen us, give us wisdom, discernment, and help us understand who to talk to and how to talk to them. In Jesus' name, amen. We are in the second story. We're in the second story, and we're looking for uh, the culprits, the victims of the gospel, the good news. This Jessica's here. Cheers. So, cheers. We are praying and seeking. So, question. Yeah. Um, what do you What do you think of um, What do you think happens in the afterlife? Shit, actually. Yeah. I've actually been thinking like real deep on that. But, really. Uh, like, there's like, I feel like there's like different like. So I don't know. So you know how people die, right? Yeah. Someone might die, but like in another like alternative, they didn't die. Like, so like let's say like. I died today, right? Mm -hmm. But like, we're living in the one where I didn't die. You know what I mean? Like, right. Cause that's just weird. It's like, it's like, it's all different. Like, like you get all these multiverse. Yeah, 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 yeah. basically, like, yeah. Well, not necessarily that, but it's yeah. just like the way that like everything just like happens, though. You know what I mean? Like, like this right now. You know, if you didn't mm -hmm. talk to me, like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here in this exact moment right here, right? Right. You'd mm -hmm. be like, like yeah, probably I'll be, out there. I'll be like leaving yeah. right now. Like, yeah. You already like, cashed like, out, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, like, but that shit. I don't know. I think I don't even know what happens, man. I don't know, like. I guess like there's a lot to that shit. Uh, what do you think? Do you, yeah, I mean, I was gonna ask you like, do you believe in a heaven or a hell? I mean, yeah, yeah, I do. But like, there's like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say necessarily that it's questionable. But like, it's just like, there's a lot to it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot yeah. to still like find out, regardless of like what we already know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. What if, what if I told you this? Like, the Bible says we all deserve hell. How do you, how do you, hell? how do you feel hmm. about that? I don't know. I don't. It's, it's man-made, though. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, if I believe too much in the Bible, I believe in, I believe in a like in a religion where like you know there's like higher ups and stuff. Yeah. Like, I don't know about a Bible. The Bible is just like, you know, it's just right. Like, you you could have wrote I mean, it, right? You I could have. Like, yeah. Somebody else, like my, my the my apostles opinion. wrote it. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the disciples. Anybody, anybody yeah. could have wrote it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't know who who could have wrote that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you this. Um, I used to be an atheist mm -hmm. three, three and a half years ago. I smoked weed, locked myself oh, in my yeah, room. Weed yeah, no, I like hated my family. Yeah. I've wanted. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, yeah, so what happened with me is I, I, I was just, I was in my closet and I was fed up with life. And I just, I just asked Jesus, are you real? Yeah. I just like, I surrendered it all. I was just like, hey, like, I want purpose in my life. I'm gonna ask you, are you real? Yeah. And I felt, the Bible says, like, when you call upon Jesus' name, you get the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And I felt something come over me, and, like, since that day, I haven't been the same. Have you heard something like that before? Or? I mean, yeah, one of my friends, actually, like, he was, like, kind of going through the same thing, like, yeah. where he was, like, like doing drugs and stuff, and, like, he didn't, like, yeah. he didn't know what to do, and I guess, like, he was, he said he just started, like, praying and stuff. His name is Omar. He's, like, he's a really good dude, but, like, yeah, he said he just started praying and stuff, and he said, yeah. that, like, something came to him, and, like, he just... Sorry, well, God, there's right? actually something I agree with you with um, religion. Mm -hmm. I don't like religion. Yeah, yeah it's like we don't. I, don't like I would like to say we don't. Yeah, we all don't like religion. And um, what the way I live life and the way God wants you to live is relationship. Yeah. So kind of like, say you had a friend here, yeah. you wouldn't be friends with them unless you knew him. Yeah, yeah, you just yeah, don't I mean, hang yeah, out yeah, with strangers, true. right? That is true. Yeah. So to like. Back like three and a half years ago, I was a stranger to God because I didn't have a relationship with him. Yeah. And Jesus is that medium, like the middleman to the Father. So when you accept Jesus, you get to have a relationship with Father God. Yeah. yeah, so I just encourage you, bro, like he's changed my life. Like pursue a relationship with God. And Jesus is God and he's He's the He's the reason I'm alive today. Yeah, so. The only reason I never really got into it was because like, I mean, my mom is religious, but, like, you know, like, it's just, like, it was really hard, like, trying to get to, like, get really, like, into it. Yeah. Like, I don't know, like, 
like I said, like the Bible is one thing, and then like you know, like people telling you another thing, and then like you know, like it's like Muslims and it's like yeah. all this other stuff, you know. So it's like yeah, it all it all like plays like differently, you know what I mean? Like, well, I'll tell you this right now: if you if you consciously just pray to Jesus and ask Him, hey, give me clarity, show me the truth, He'll do that for you. Yeah, uh, and all those answers or all those questions will be answered. So I, I just like to, I like to pray for you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Man. You, want, you want some prayer? Awesome. All right. I'm just talking to him. Uh, what's your name? Chris. Chris. And um, yeah, just talking about Jesus. What do you think about Jesus? Good. Good? Change your life? Of course. Yes. Okay, well, um, you said Chris? Yeah, yeah. So I'm just, I'm going to pray for Chris. Sure. We'll, we'll pray for you after. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. So, you mind if I like? Yeah. So, I, th- I thank you, Jesus, um, for him just hearing you out. Lord, I ask that you just um, help him see what true happiness is. And that he could buy the entire mall out, but he will not get satisfaction. This world will not satisfy his soul. So, Lord, I just ask that you meet him where he needs to be met. And, um,. Help him understand it's pursuing a relationship with you. It's not religion, it's relationship. So I just pray that in Jesus' name. Thank you, man. What's yeah. your name? Mirza. Mirza? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Is there name, anything? Man? I'm Ryan, man. Is there anything, like, over the next week, or, like, over the next few months that you specifically, like, need prayer for, like, in your life? I think just what I really want to do in life. Because I'm still 19, and, like, I don't I don't know where it is that I'm going, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know where, like, yeah. where I'm headed, you know? So, mm-hmm. like, it's, like... There's still need a lot of things that I need That's to find real. out. Like I need to like figure out like, cause a lot of people my age, you know, they're stuck in like, you know, this like, it's like version of themselves where they just like drink and like, smoke Party. and all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like I'm like I already had a bit of that when I was younger. Even th- like I know I'm not proud of it, but like I'm glad that it happened then because right. now I'm like I'm older and like I'm kind of seeing kind of like, seen what yeah, it was like. I'm seeing like a lot more, and then, like I'm seeing them doing it, and then I was like, oh like damn, this this was me, you know? Like, yeah. And it's just like I don't know, like and right now I don't know where I'm going. Like I'm doing all these different things, but. I still don't know where it is, like, what path I got, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's like, there's still a lot to learn, man. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's real. Also, also yeah. understand you are 19, and it's yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah no, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's okay. just, like, it, it gets a little hard because, like, sometimes I don't even know what to do. Like, like sometimes yeah. I stay, like, stuck, and, like, I'm just, like, stuck in this, this state where I'm just, like, lost, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't know, like, what's going on. I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to do, like, where I'm going to go, you know what I mean? Like, Bro, I, what yeah. I told you, like, pray for clarity. Yeah. Pray for clarity. Jesus is gonna help you with everything what you want, so yeah. mm-hmm. you have Jesus, everything you have. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, yeah. No, there's no pressure at all. Yeah. Like, and yeah. it's you know it's it's good that you have these questions and you're at yeah. this place right yeah. now at such a young age because it just shows that you have initiative and you're looking for something. Yeah. And I just wanna encourage you again, yeah. just like Mirza was saying, bro. It's like I believe like we came to you here in this random place yeah, yeah, nah, like, like and yeah. he, the question he asked you was a question you'd been asking yourself yeah, yeah, recently yeah. so like I don't know take that as you may but I, I take that as a sign from God and like I believe yeah. like everybody we walk into like God led us yeah, yeah, to yeah. and I, I really believe he led us to you bro and, and dude just, just the stu- questions you had about the Bible and its legitimacy dude like I'm not gonna like I believe the Bible is the truth because I've experienced it. He's experienced yeah. it. We've all experienced yeah. it. That's why we're out here sharing the truth. Yeah. But dude, there's like legitimate or like um, just facts that show how accurate the Bible is. There's just um, like the Bible is 66 different books written by different authors, and it's the only like handwritten book that has like as many like different references as it does like there's so many different historical um, yeah. historical pieces of, of work of writing that we that we like that we look at and we take as like facts in history that don't have as many like references as the bible does it doesn't have like like um it's like caesar like caesar's wars like we, we take that as fact but they, they have like less i think the bible has about like the gospel itself, which is four books of the Bible, has about six thousand different references, and and Caesar's War has about thirty. So I, I just encourage you, bro, to like as as your heart like is stirred, go up and look this up. Just say like how accurate, like Google how accurate is the Bible? Like why should I why should I believe the Bible? 
Google this thing and also just just pray like say God if you're real and if Jesus is real would you come and speak to me and like yeah. he, he will bro and just invite him in uh, also just invite him into like these questions that you have about life because the Bible like he, he is like the Bible says yeah. he is like so just any questions you have bro, like Google is, is actually such a great bet thing. you God will heal it right now I bet you right now that he's going to heal it um, do you mind if I lay hands on it? Sure. Yeah. And what is it? What's your name? Sorry. Adiam. Adiam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lord, I thank you for Adiam, her just coming up to us. Lord, I just pray healing over her leg right now. I pray full restoration over her leg. And I c command any spirit of sickness to leave the leg. If it's natural or unnatural, I just command it to go. And I ask that you do your healing work on her right now, in Jesus' name. Yeah, thank you. Does it feel better? Yeah. Test it. Like, is there something you can't really like do that you? No, uh, I, I'm here, Stylus. I'm yeah. bothered. So um, my prayer is like, uh, I just came yesterday and then my salon is shut down oh, no. when I was leaving. All my stuff is safe, yeah. and I just moved today a new salon, and I just want to pray for that to be like successful, like customer yeah. too. We you know, it's a lot of Ryan. different things. Oh. Like when I go, they just shut down for no yeah. reason, and it's kind of challenging, you know. Yeah. If it's the customer, they're gonna follow me and no, or like I, I'm gonna have the same thing. It's kind of a little challenge. So. Yeah. Uh, Can yeah. I just yeah. say there's like a a glow there is yeah around you there yeah. is yeah and you're, you're wondering if your clients are going to follow you and i fully believe that they will yeah. because mm -hmm. just your aura that you're giving off the joy that you're giving off you just moved yesterday and i could I, you couldn't tell me yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. you're glowing yeah you're thank glowing. you you're glowing thank with you. joy and i think that's going to pass on to all the people you encounter yeah, yeah. i know i know he's going to be always like ahead of me yeah. yeah like you give me all the lights or like follow me I, i'm here you know i hear all the time do you, do you want to pray for her yeah that? for sure yeah. what's your name adiam adiam mm -hmm. are, you, are, you, are you from ethiopia eritrea, eritrea. Oh, I, was gonna say I was eritrea. just came from eritrea yesterday wow awesome one of my good friends from like primary school is from eritrea yeah haven is that like a yeah, that, yeah. 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 Awesome. yeah. Awesome. okay awesome do you mind if I put my hand That's on your Um And it's Mariam? Ariam. Ariam. Yeah, Jesus, I just thank you for Ariam, oh God. I thank you, Jesus, um, just for the woman she is. I thank you for the joy over her life. And even just the peace over her life, Lord. I thank you that she's a woman who's actually marked by peace, oh God. And Lord, that... Um, I thank you, Lord, that even in this storm, Jesus Christ, your word over her is peace, it's calm, mm. Jesus. Your word over her is that surely goodness and mercy shall follow wow. her at all the days of her life. So, yeah. Jesus, we just speak and declare favor over her, Lord, even as she's transitioned from this old building to the new one, Lord. We just pray, God, that, that it, there would actually just be an increase even in her clientele, Lord. And, that that th her loyal customers will follow her lord and, and those who don't don't but she will get new customers jesus because she's actually such a good steward of god mm. i thank you jesus and just for just that she's a woman who puts her hands to work she's a proverbs 31 woman who puts her hands to work jesus and in, in every season she, she's one who's diligent in her work jesus and that speaks for her lord. she's a kingdom woman so Jesus, we just speak and declare your your perfect peace over her, Lord. Any anxiety, any stress, any worry about yeah. the future, God, we we just yeah we, we we cast it down. We say we we bind it right now, Lord, and we just loose your peace over Ariam, Lord. We loose your peace over her and her family, Lord. And Lord, she won't be stressed over over providing for her family. She won't be stressed about anything, Lord. And we just speak your perfect peace, Lord, even in the middle, even in the I'm unsure. We speak your perfect peace, oh God. Um, yeah. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, Jesus, we just we just thank you from Arya, man. Yeah, God, we just we we, we 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 ask this prayer and we we just agree. We say in in your mighty and precious name, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. And I have to ask. <laughs> Uh -huh. about the leg is there any way you could like replicate yeah, the pain it's good, it's, good? Yeah. it's healed yeah 
Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. I know that's gonna heal. You know, it's just uh, it's believing what you believe. Yeah. That's it. It's what you believe. You know, in the Bible says like just like little things. I don't know in English, but yeah. it's just a little bit if you believe. Mustard seed. Yeah. Mustard seed. Yeah. Mustard. Yeah. Mustard. Yeah. Mustard. Yeah. So that's all <laughs> about hole. believing. So I believe since I was young. So. Amen. Amen. God is always with me. Yeah, you know the bad time and good time yeah. every time. So Amen. thank you so awesome. much for everything. And you're welcome, yes. man. Appreciate it. Have a wonderful you. week. Have a nice yes. day. Debbie. Okay. Yeah, I'm Luke. Daniel. Luke and Daniel. Yeah. yeah. Ryan. Mirza and Jessica. That's Andre. Cool. cool. Yeah, we're nice we're just. I'm just asking a question. Uh, what do you th what do you think happens in the afterlife? Well. I'm re I'm religious. You're I'm religious, Christian, so I believe that um, if you believe in Jesus Christ, you go to heaven. Is that like if you do enough good things? No, I think that's just the fundamental principle of giving your faith uh, up yeah. to something bigger than yourself. Amen. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay. What yeah. do you believe? I mean, I used to be pretty religious, but okay. I don't know. I kind of more think it's just like you just go back to how it was before. You were born, I guess. Like, oh. You just don't remember. Like, it's just like nothing. A blackness. Yeah, just blackness. You know? <laughs> you're like, ag agnostic. He's got a dark but like, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll yeah. say this, dude. I was agnostic slash atheist mm -hmm. three yeah, and a yeah. half years ago. And I had a God encounter back when I lived with my mom. I mm -hmm. was in my closet. I was like, hey, Jesus. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm smoking weed. I'm locking myself in my room, playing video games all day. Yeah. I was miserable yeah. and isolated. <laughs> And so I just I just asked the simple question like Jesus are you real? Mm -hmm. And then I felt the Holy Spirit just came came over me. I don't know what it was. And then the Bible says like you call upon His name, you receive the Spirit. Yeah, yeah. And that's since great. then I've been totally changed. Yeah, that's good. And that's great. Yeah. I just encourage you, man. Like seek yeah. a relationship with God, because mm -hmm. I promise you, I'm saying this to be real. When you die, it's not going to be black. Right. Yeah. It's either you're going to go to hell or you're going to go to heaven. I got there's, you. there's no and then I think Catholics believe in purgatory. I have no idea. Yeah, well that's not <laughs> that's that's not in the Bible yeah. either. So it's, yeah. So um yeah man. I got gotcha. you. So and another thing real quick, dude, and I just I'm gonna speak some things you can tell me if they're inaccurate or, or no. Because <clears throat> we like what we believe in our church, we believe in and what we leave from the Bible is we believe in the gifts of the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and today and like one of those gifts like which is the, probably the most important one out of the gifts is is prophecy. Um, so I, I like when we, we we come out and we speak words of encouragement to people because we believe prophecy encourages people and it, it edifies the church and it, it just gives insight into into your like into your life that we wouldn't know. Mm -hmm. Only the Holy Spirit, which is God, could, yeah. could tell us. So I'm, I'm just gonna speak some like stuff that I believe I saw. It's like I, I think like when you left like your, your kind of dis dissociation or like like dissatisfaction with with church like leaving church came from just like this it being this kind of religious chore you were going and nothing was really happening it was just your parents said go to church and you'd go su like go on sunday and you would go like bible school and it was just like this routine mm -hmm. is that is that does that like resonate at all or? a little bit yeah i mean yeah, yeah a little bit if sure. not if not if it's not like you can say but yeah. like i I, re I believe like the lord actually like mercy was saying like he wants a relationship with you and, mm -hmm. and like your friend luke said it's like like going to heaven or hell it's it's premised on this faith in jesus and in, in believing that there there is like jesus actually came down from heaven in the flesh mm -hmm. he died for our sin which is like we were all born with so that we could have eternal life with him and, mm -hmm. and enjoy him like in heaven but also here on earth because jesus is like he he didn't just die he resurrected and he, he gave us his holy spirit so that we could have life on earth like because this world the world is still sinful you see all the yeah. crazy stuff that still happens like mm -hmm. but he says those who believe in him can have life through his holy spirit and overcome the world so like Christianity, faith in Jesus is, is more than like these religious chores, more than, more than like 
going here and there. It's more than religion. It's it's actually relationship that you're supposed to enjoy. You're supposed to be able to go to God like whenever you're feeling anything and speak to Him, and He'll speak back to you. Yeah. And, and you listen to Him and read His Word and gain insight about life. Um, so I just felt like sharing that with you. And, and oh yeah, I appreciate it. And I also wanted to ask if we if we could could we just could we pray for you as well, just sure. like, that you would encounter yeah, yeah. God. Yeah, sure, for sure. Yeah. So what was your name? Mate? Daniel. Daniel? Yeah. Daniel and Luke. Yeah. Would you mind if we put our hand on your shoulder? Yeah, go ahead. For sure. And Luke, you can be yeah. up. <laughs> um, yeah, Jesus, we just thank you for Daniel, Lord, and we, we thank you for, for his friend Luke, Lord, and we thank yeah. you, Jesus, that that today is the, the day of salvation. Today is the appointed time, oh God, Lord, mm-hmm. Lord that, that you brought us it, to speak to him for a, a reason, Lord, because you see him, you're pursuing him. And more than anything, God, you love him, Jesus. You love him so much that you that you sacrificed your life. If Lu- yeah. if Daniel was the only person on earth, you would have still died for him. You would have still shed your blood. You would have still sacrificed yourself, taken the cross off Calvary because you love him so much. So, so Jesus, I just pray, God, that you just shower him, even right now, with, with, with the, that love, Lord. Would you just refresh his heart? with that love yeah. Lord, that that encounter him with the love jesus that that's more than religion more than 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 routines lord would you shower him with your love god that he would know he would experience you lord and and he would actually just begin to to draw near to you lord as as you're pulling him lord that he would draw near to you and as he draws to you lord you would draw closer to him and just show him the fullness of your love and show him the fullness of any question he may may have lord i ask that you'd even just break off any apathy that might have come from just them you know just his his, his past in the church and and any and any just like not not necessarily bad but just maybe even just boring experiences lord that you would show him that you're a god who's actually fun mm-hmm. and who's about adventure and who yeah. who, who who wants a, a full life lord you said that you came to give us life and life to the fullest mm-hmm. so god would you just shower him with that lord and, and 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 begin to lead him down that path oh god i just thank you for daniel lord i thank you for this encounter lord and i just pray that you just finish the work lord that you started in your son we ask this prayer in jesus mighty name amen amen, amen. That was dope, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Cool, refreshing. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, guys. <laughs> have a right. good rest of your night. Yeah. yeah. Take care. Appreciate you guys. Well, you did. Yeah. <laughs> See what God does. Let's go. <laughs> That's good. I'm enjoying this. For a recap for you guys, like, it started really slow, and we just got back to back encounters. And uh, I met my buddy Ryan here that I haven't really seen in a while. Yeah. And randomly shopping for a t-shirt. And he he just tagged along. So it's like, um, it's God. It's it's God.